Hi, I'm Scott, and welcome to my blog. Um, I guess I decided I wanted to start doing a video blog um, because um, I've been told I have opinions. And um, I decided to maybe I should share those opinions with people. Uh, a little bit about myself. I'm 44 years old. I'll be 45 in a few weeks. Uh, I moved from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to Manhattan last year for a new job at a software company that you've probably heard of. Um, but I don't speak for them. I really only speak for myself. Um, I'm on the board and have been on boards for a uh, number of years. Um, I tended to collect board memberships for some reason. I've been on the board of independent democratic clubs. I've been a democratic committee person. I've been on the platform committee of the 2004 uh, Democratic National Convention. I've been um, <coughs> involved with statewide politics in Pennsylvania. I'm currently a board member of the National Stonewall Democrats. I don't speak for them either. Um, I uh, have been on the board of the ACLU of Pennsylvania, serving as their treasurer. I've been on the board of the AC Greater Pittsburgh chapter of the ACLU, where I was first vice president. Um, so you can see that I'm a Democrat, I'm liberal, uh, I'm gay, oh yeah, I've done gay stuff too, uh, mostly marriage equality work for about the past 15 years. Um, so anyway, that's what who I am, and I guess I want to talk to you today about uh, some things going on in the news. Um, I noticed that Barack Obama won uh, South Carolina last night, and that really doesn't surprise me. It, it seemed to me that uh, the Clinton campaign had really pulled out of there about a week ago, a week and a half ago. Um, while she's certainly been campaigning in the state, that, that campaign has begun to almost exclusively concentrate on uh, the February 5th primary states, um, where I think that she's going to do really, really well and hopefully put an end to this. But um, it, it's an interesting campaign for me because I see a lot of divisions within the Democratic Party between the two candidates. And it's something that the media is tending to gloss over. Um, Clinton won Nevada with a lot of support of Hispanic voters, women voters, older voters. Um, Barack Obama appeals to younger voters and independent voters and uh, African-American voters, which is how he won South Carolina. Um, it's, it, it's an interesting divide. Uh, it, it always seems to me to not be worthwhile to have these groups divided. The, the good thing about it is, is that they're really not being pitted against each other very much. Uh, I'm a Clinton supporter. I'm on Hillary Clinton's uh, Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender Steering Committee. Uh, I'm uh, going to attend the Hillary fundraiser later today, uh, so it's it, it, it's all it's all good. Um, but I noticed that Carolyn Kennedy had a editorial in today's New York Times talking about how Barack Obama seems to inspire people like her father did. Um, what I recall about the. Kennedy presidency that I learned in history classes was that John Kennedy entered the Oval Office not being very well prepared. Um, he didn't become a strong leader until maybe a year, a year or two into his presidency, uh, and especially that was evident during the Cuban Missile Crisis. But before the Cuban Missile Crisis, there was the Bay of Pigs which was a catastrophic failure in terms of policy and planning and an early failure in the Kennedy presidency. And while I think Barack Obama is a smart man and certainly a very articulate speaker, I don't think he's ready to lead the country from day one. Uh, I think that there would be a sharp learning curve, and I think that that's one of the big differences between Hillary and Obama. Um, if you look at what's happened over the Bush presidency, and these are just a few statistics I've gathered, uh, the gross domestic product has fallen from 4.09% in 2000 to 2.65% now. Uh, so our economy is stagnating. It's not growing as fast. Uh, the national debt has skyrocketed from $5.7 trillion 
to $9.2 trillion. And I recall lots of my Republican friends saying, oh, you know, the Republicans are so good on fiscal policies and stuff. Well, we're $4 trillion more in debt, dudes. Come on. Um, we have another 5 million people living in poverty that got there during the Bush presidency. Uh, we have a 9 million more people uninsured during the Bush presidency. And the median income of the average American family has fallen by $1,100. Now, I don't know that we have time to allow somebody to get their feet wet in government. Barack Obama has been in the Senate a very short time. Uh, he talks about, I'm a candidate of change. Well, let me tell you, anybody that gets elected to the Senate uh, isn't that far from the establishment, okay? It, they are part of the establishment. That's not, you know, you can take the mantle of change, but it's just rhetoric. Um, so I have concerns, and I understand why young people may be um, enthralled with the rhetoric and the image that is around Obama. But that is also the campaign this week that complained that Hillary was beginning to play rough with them. And, you know, the Republicans aren't going to say, oh, he's such a nice man, we're not going to say anything bad about him during the general election. Uh, does anybody beside me remember swift votes for, against Kerry? You know, uh, they play hardball and they're going to be rough and they're going to be far more uh, visceral than Hillary Clinton has been or even President Clinton has been in the past week. Uh, so I just don't see this man as being ready to be president and that's why I'm supporting Hillary. Uh, anyway, I said I have opinions and if you watch this blog you'll hear a lot more about them. Um, there's some stuff going on in D.C. that I want to talk about. There's some stuff uh, going on around here on Election Day that I'll be talking about. And you'll probably also hear uh, some things about my personal life. Uh, I'm sitting in my apartment now, really small apartment, very different than Pittsburgh, but it's got a really great view. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and that's what I get to look out to. Bye.